Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store where I've compiled some of the very best knives and gear. There's a whole bunch of different categories, including some of my own personal recommendations. There's something down here for everybody, so make sure you take a look. Thanks. What's going on YouTube Middle Complex here and today I've got a really exciting unboxing to share with you guys as I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail and title. This knife was sent very quickly to me by Scott Whittington uh, from USA Made Blade. Um, you'll be able, I'm going to link this knife uh, to, um, you know, the uh, listing on USA Made Blade so you guys can go check it out immediately. But if you've never shopped there, uh, check them out. You can go to their website here at usamadeblade.com. Um, absolutely an awesome place to buy, as you could probably guess, USA Made Blades. But they've got a healthy selection of some of my favorite stuff, ZT knives, Hinderer knives, and a ton of other things. So please check them out. I know I'm, I always list my own links and stuff in the description, but uh, for, for today, let's let's focus on USA Made Blade, absolutely. Because Scott has um, really, really been great to this channel, and I appreciate it. By the way, we're unboxing uh, this package today with the Ontario Rat 1, which is something that you can get in my links down below. Okay, let's get this out. I am so, so interested. I was not expecting ZT to announce a new model so quickly. Um, so what we have here is the brand new ZT0357, in this case, the Black Wash G10 version in 20 CV. Um, I uh, was very, very happy with um, Zero Tolerance's execution of the 0308. It's hard to remember all those numbers. Okay, so this is meant to be a more budget-friendly option from Zero Tolerance. Nice sort of, I don't want to call it compact, a little smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I kind of expected that to be the case here. What we have is G10. It's got a nice uh, sort of peel ply texturing here on the flat and then some bevels. Actually, a little bit of extra machine work going on here. Got a nice G10 backspacer. Wonderful clip. <laughs> Much happier with this clip than some of the other stuff that I've seen from Zero Tolerance. Um, and a black wash blade. Let's get this out. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, crispy action. Um, so, I mean, I, I would expect that type of action from... Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's assisted. Okay. Uh, I, di I was like, wow, that thing came flying out of there. So this is an assisted model from Zero Tolerance. Um, but it does feel great. And it's I was one I was like... What is going on here with the... <laughs> I was feeling the pressure on the back end. This makes me think a lot of the ZT0095. Uh, I reviewed that knife a while back. Very, um, uh, very large amount of belly down here. A nice, comes to a, a very fine tip. I'm going to guess probably 125 thousandths on the spine. Look at this, this nice area back here um, as you sort of come down. Uh, the flipper tab, I, off the flipper tab, you you land in a nice comfortable area. Um, but yeah, very straightforward, um, more budget friendly option from uh, Zero Tolerance. You know, got a, a lot of their stuff is a combination of titanium, carbon fiber, um, you know, inlay stuff, and that gets expensive. These are U.S. made knives, right? You can check out the pricing and stuff on this by just following the link. Um, right at the top of the description. I'll list this there so you can go take a look at it. But these do come in a black wash variant and then a stone wash variant, as I understand. And then I I think the liners are color matched too. You can check them out. Something that caught my eye here is the. it looks like the screw goes all the way through and then catches a barrel thread on the other side. That's interesting. Not something that I normally see from ZT. In any case, it looks like it's probably a T8 pivot. T6 body screws right here, and then you've got your lanyard hole. I'm going to just real quick slip this in the pocket and that, yeah, it's really uh, the carry profile, right? I mean, we're going to do a full review on it. Carry profile on this thing is excellent. Ergonomics are excellent. This is a nice size, um, definitely a sturdy liner lock. You can see there, steel liner lock locking up at something like 50%. And the centering is dead on as it should be. Um, this is a nice looking knife. You know, if you really, 
it, it looks like something that's going to be a little bit more friendly to people wanting to get into ZT, but are a little nervous about transitioning from the $50 mark or $100 mark on knives that they've been used to in the past and then jumping up to what's typical for ZT, which is around $225 to $250, right? This definitely is not um, in that range. I, I want to say that it's closer to the 150-ish mark. I don't know. Check the link to be sure. But very compelling, very interesting model from Zero Tolerance. Um, it is something that I'm... It's it's definitely not like an overbuilt knife. You know, like I've been calling for Zero Tolerance to be... Stop doing these weird things and do something more overbuilt. Um, like you used to. The 0308 was definitely... I mean, it seems like their answer to a lot of cries for stuff like that. But I still appreciate when they do stuff like this. This is still very much a full-size knife, and it still has a nice, beefy construction. It's just not the, uh, you know, for people who are like, okay, I kind of like ZT, but I don't want this massively cumbersome thing, and I certainly don't want to pay, you know, an insane amount of money for it. Um, yeah, a USA-made knife, CPM 20 CV, and then G10 and steel construction. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of competition out there in that price range. Um, and this, you know... It, it, whether, you know, what, what people are wanting, what people are looking for, you know, in that price range, it varies. But um, I'll bring up a knife that um, I think is a good example. Um, something that I have always said is about the point of diminishing returns in American production knives. And that's the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1 G2 um, in M390, uh, G10, and a steel liner construction. Um, this is a wonderful knife. And this Zero Tolerance is sitting right about there in the same, I mean, we've got, you know, G10 and steel and we've got CPM 20 CV, which is the same exact composition as M390. It's just made by Crucible and not Bowler. So very, very interesting. I know there's a lot of people probably wanting to look at this thing up close. I can tell you right now, for those of you wondering about the edge, yes, it's, it's extremely thin. I, I mean, looking at pictures of this, I, I assume that was going to be the case because it's not a thick blade stock. Um, but we do have a performance-oriented blade, absolutely. Fit and finish looks spot on, very solid, no blade play up, down, left, or right. Um, so this is going to be a nice EDC-sized pocket knife. I got to be honest, I don't know how I feel about the assisted thing. Um, I'm going to guess, yeah, it's got a detent ball and a detent hole. So I'm going to guess that these probably could be de-assisted if you wanted to. But I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not going to take this one apart because it's going to go back to Scott or perhaps another reviewer after me. Um, but uh, for anybody wondering, it seems like that is the case, that it could be de-assisted. And as far as where the detent ball sits, oh yeah, no double clutch. Um, if this were to be de-assisted, um, you'd be in a good place. So anyways, very, very interesting. Very excited to take a full look. Um, expect uh, a full review of this knife um to come out you know within a week or a week and a half on this channel but i think that's going to be pretty much it today guys um let me go ahead and get usa made blade sticker back out like i said if you want to check this out uh check out usamadeblade.com i will leave a link right at the top of the description so you guys can go do that but yeah anyways guys um, I hope you enjoyed this short little unboxing. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here. Subscribe and make sure your notifications are set to all because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.